Hello, Familia. Welcome to this place and space. I am so happy that you are here. Let's get started. I gave my life to Jesus at 18, and I wanted to take you kind of like a backstory of how I got there. And also, I feel like there's this big misconception, whether in the church or outside of the church, that Christians are perfect. And I'm like, y'all, I need to tell my familia that that is a lie. Christians are not perfect no matter how many scriptures we read, no matter how many times I go to church, I am not perfect. Just putting it out there. Because sometimes I feel like we feel as a Christian or uh, people are like, oh my gosh, they're hypocrites. And it's like, hey, no, actually, God is the faithful one and he's the good one and he's the one who doesn't fail. We as humans, me, myself, I miss the mark a lot of the time, most of the time. And so that's why I need him to show me the way, to show me the way things are, how to have the right attitude, how to love my neighbor as myself. And when I do miss the mark, I know where to go. So if you find that there's some Christians around you who aren't perfect, hey, there's one thing of keep missing the mark and people just choosing to be cray cray. There's other ones who, like myself, are learning new things every day the Bible's so big and so vast and I and I yeah I learn every day just like anyone in any field you never arrive there you keep growing if you're a lawyer you keep growing if you're a doctor you keep growing there's always new wisdom and new knowledge and also learning from your mistakes so I'm putting it out there yeah before I gave my life to Jesus my family didn't really grow up with religion we said we were catholics but that was only like a once a year when we went to mass and got you know the whole ash cross thing i don't even know what that means to this day but you know you got the ash uh did my first communion and all those things but mostly it was just like hey let or if someone got baptized it's like let's go to church and then let's go party after <laughs> That was the extent of my religious ways. I didn't really know about Jesus. I didn't understand the concept of who he was or uh, what, you know, anything else. So fast forward. During the beginning of my senior year in high school, my dad actually started going to church. A friend of his invited him for a very long time. And um, my dad just was like, no, that's not me. <laughs> and so follow that. Well, finally, my dad went to visit the church and he really connected with that place and the people and, um, and God himself. And so he was going and he was serving and he was attending. And uh, I really saw a change in my dad. It wasn't radical like I mean he still had a lot of refining to do but I did saw the inner work of him just being more calm and and different from who he was before and all that anger he carried and so I go to church and I'm like I need help <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing but I just know that I need help so at that service after church they're like you want to give your life to jesus and i'm like yes mind you i don't know what i was getting into i'm like i don't know who jesus is i haven't read the bible i don't know what kind of life this is but your girl needs help and i know that i got something in my soul and i needed it i was tired of living the way i was being angry and spiteful and all these things and there's more to that <laughs> a little bit further ahead so let's stay here so yeah I gave my life to Jesus now I I mean I thought I was gonna be like Cinderella you know like a whole 360 your girl sanctified she don't do nothing she is never angry she's super holy and not even holy but I mean just 
not who I was before, you know? And it turns out that the next day, I'm still the same person. <laughs> And so, the funny story is when we're going into the next thing is um, before I tell the story of what happened next, a week after I gave my life to Jesus. So I don't know what I got into, but here your girl is. And so, before we get to there, uh, the the disclaimer in that is just saying how I love that the way God works with us is that I think there's so much pressure when people are even like trying to acknowledge religion or acknowledge Jesus or that walk that everyone just expects you to just bam no like I know Jesus and so I'm perfect and if I'm not perfect the first time um or the second time or the third like people just give up on you and I'm like how how can I go from a whole past life and I give my life to Jesus and yeah there can be changes but like have grace and mercy and so I love it that God will always keep working with us towards becoming the best version that he knows that we are and we have within ourselves before, you know, the world came. And yeah, yeah. so a week later, I, I remember this so clearly. I think I'm in my parents' room and I they have like an exercising machine. I don't know how that happened. The room was so small and my mom was already in there and i don't know if my dad came in and then so my my mom had actually i think made a comment before she left out the room and she left out and i remember getting off i was heated i don't remember what she had said or what the situation was i just remember being so angry and i get off the stairmaster or whatever this thing was and i'm like f you god Yes, oh my goodness. I cursed at God. I did. I uh, not my finest moment. That was like my bad Christian moment. <laughs> it didn't happen again because I'm like, you know, Jesus, you God, you Lord. We ain't about that. But in that moment, I did. I did that. And <laughs> to say that um, my uh anger is my anger thank god has been dealt with i realized in that moment <laughs> that anger was actually just pain masked as anger of what just the love that i feel like i didn't get before and so so yeah that was like the really bad christian moment i had and i i was just reminded of it recently and i wanted to share it with you guys because it's like I was already a Christian <laughs> at that time, but it takes time to develop. It, it, it takes time, like any relationship. You don't just get into a relationship and you're like, bam. You learn new things about the person each and every day. Um, you learn new facets of them. There's different trials, there's different seasons. And, um, and I just wanted to share that so you don't get discouraged if anyone has ever like tried to make you perfect if you are following god and if you're even interested in it just know that god has so much grace for you if he had grace for me and funny thing is that for the next six years i didn't really i okay so backtracking is i I gave my life to Jesus at 18 and then at 24 I really started following him like legit and what I mean by legit is understanding the Bible understanding community and being with others and how important that is attending church being just part of that life because for the next six years from 18 to 24 it was a refining thing it was me understanding why i was still going back to wanting the approval of guys why i had low self-esteem still keep going around some a few of the same mountains breaking relationships friendships doing all kinds of stuff um not really wanting to surrender to god and wanting to do whatever i wanted to do and what i mean by that was wanting to do whatever I wanted to do is I had a bad attitude. 
like if I wanted to just ignore you and hurt your feelings and manipulate your feelings I would do it <laughs> for no reason or even if there was a reason instead of talking it out I would just stuff things and had really bad things in me and I kept missing the mark and that's what I mean by trying to do my own thing so it was slow and steady but it's so beautiful seeing it now the journey of having god really believe in me believe in who i am today like who i am today is only because he took me by the hand and he was there in every moment like the really like when i was going through depression and darkness when i was going through insecurity when um, people let me down when i was really a sh living in shame uh, when people would say like why do you keep doing that even though you know better oh me when i cursed him out i feel like anybody would have left like girl you was wild and even though after when he saw all those things i still went through he could have really walked away and just been like yo girl yeah but no like he's like i can go into the darkest place like i'm not afraid of that I'm not afraid to be there in the dark. I'm not afraid to be there in the light. And I believe in you and I. And so now it's crazy to think about it, but a year ago or two years ago, I was a youth leader. Never in a million years would I have imagined. And then I worked for a church. Well, okay, interned. <laughs> I don't know, work, intern. I interned for a church. What? Like going from that little girl to who was angry and bitter and hated everyone and hated the world and never liked people to now who I am and now that I'm more forgiving and generous and leading a different life, I, I thank God for that. And also encouragement to you that if you've ever felt like you've been a Christian or you know you keep missing the mark you don't have to keep missing it he's right there with you um to keep walking to keep building and even if you don't know god or you don't know jesus or have a relationship with him like it's okay he's still there and he will always be there just wanting to um but we have a choice and but he loves us all and just to know that you are worthy to go on this journey and you are worthy to have peace and joy and community around you and love and most of all be at peace with yourself i realized i was doing all those things because i wasn't at peace in myself i had shame i had so much hate towards myself that i wasn't perfect that i wasn't good enough and that's why I kept trying to feed off relationships and friendships, not knowing that I was causing them pain too. You are worthy of that. You are worthy of that peace within yourself. So that was kind of my journey to giving my life to Jesus and a little bit of walking, <laughs> walking that journey out. Y'all know for me that I love you so much. You guys are like my family. And I want to share all these things with you because I think that's the beauty of our lives that we get to share it. We get to say, hey, like I really messed up there. I really needed encouragement there or like, hey, this is my darkest time. Like, do you feel me? Because if you feel me, you know, I'm there and then like we can say, hey, I get you. Like, let's keep walking and let's keep doing life and uh, we keep growing. <laughs> so familia that was that was your girl you know there's some truths out there she was a little savage but maybe still a little bit you know but holy savage if that's a thing <laughs> just me the christian life is it's real it's real let me tell you it's not for the faint of heart yeah there's some things that i'm like my life would be easier not being christian <laughs> there's some risks that i'm like oh, lord this faith better come alive but i always want to be open and honest about my journey and i hope it encourages you 
So make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos to come. Um, I hope you have an extremely beautiful day and just know that you were made for a purpose regardless of what you've done in your past or now. And if you keep missing the mark, there's a friend in Jesus who will always be there to show you the way. Love you, familia. Bye.